International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia means to me is a way to show resilience, you know, as a community of gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and queer and intersex people, you know, we, we're all, always constantly being told that we can't be ourselves. But knowing us, we're a very courageous group of individuals, and we're always going to do our best to show that courage wherever we are. And International Day of um, Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia is a global celebration. So, you know, there is this collective movement about we need to fight for this. This is a global movement, and it's, it's great to be here in Hong Kong celebrating this in this amazing community of LGBT. Uh, my organization is called Gender Proud. Gender Proud is a global advocacy and campaign. What we're advocating is gender recognition policy, which would allow transgender people and gender uh, and gender variant people to change name and gender marker on their documents without being forced to go through surgeries. Right now, there's only a handful of countries that allow you to do that. And being here in Hong Kong, meeting a lot of like, there's uh, there's definitely a lot of conversation that's happening within that uh, spectrum. So I'm here meeting a lot of local activists like Joanne Leung, people like Michael Bidler. So we're having this conversation and I definitely look forward to be back in July. In July, um, we're now creating Gender Proud Forum, which will be a traveling forum in partnership with local LGBT activist group and policy people and community. So we're definitely um, starting off with a Gender Proud Forum in the Philippines. I'm going to be in the Philippines tomorrow and um, we're now trying to figure out which are the next countries that we're gonna focus on. And definitely Hong Kong is one of them. So I'll be back in July.